wake up night. You must take up your arms again. This is all very confusing. I know. Focus. Breathe. It will all become clear soon. You were fighting in the last great battle for Britannia. When King Arthur's adversaries marched against the once and future king, you have committed dreadful acts to fulfill your destiny. Do you remember the earth trembling? Can you recall the gathering of terrible armies? You saw Camelot burning and watched the power of magic tearing apart the world at its seams. You led knights and monsters into a deadly storm of fury and blood. You destroyed the ladies of the sun and the lords of the winter. You have killed King Arthur, and with his dying breath, he struck you down. You both died, and yet you both live. You have unleashed something that cannot be stopped. The tide of madness and pain will swallow us all. I have brought you back to end this nightmare, Sir Richard. I want you to go on a nightly quest. I want you to finish what you have begun. Kill King Arthur. Or whatever he has become. After I took his dying vessel to Avalon. Mordred, living and breathing again. But is he truly alive? I wish I could talk to him, but I can't just yet. Serves him right anyway. I've set this dread night on a dark path, and for now, I can only watch where it takes him. I've brought back King Arthur's nemesis and wonder if I made the right choice. Mordred did the impossible, after all. Almost killed the king, who can- Wait! Who the hell are you? I'm here to teach you some manners, lad. And I will help you. Well, well, well. Sir Kay, King Arthur's Seneschal, in a dungeon rotting away, a hero's reward. An honest and capable man, but a bit dull, like an untended blade. Sir Mordred. The Scourge of Britannia is back. Avalon is not a place for your treacherous kind.
Are you real? Or just a ghost? Tell me, Mordred. Do you remember killing me? Help me escape, traitor. Then we may talk. I keep my promises. I will help you, Mordred. The powers that rule this land decided to trust you with our fate. I don't know how to feel about that. But soon, you must make your very first decisions. Great. That's my arm over there. Finally. I feel more useful now. You think a sword makes you less useless? We must get out of here. Go to the door and let me handle this. Rascals! I told you that you will pay for this! What the hell is he doing out of his cell? Surprise! It's the Warden's room. Prepare for battle. Sir Kay, you are really persistent, but I can't let you walk free. You don't have much choice in the matter now, Warden. this time. More means to our cause. Careful. It's quite a crowd. You know very well that diplomacy was never my strong suit.
to earn your share of glory, knights. to fight. That would be Sir Tuolan. Lead me to him. I want to explain him that this is my castle now. Ah. So, you are back as well, traitor. You probably don't remember me. I am just a walking corpse, cheated out of his death. And I will make everyone suffer for this injustice. He is... He was Sir Tuellen, a once noble warrior with two sons, both knights. He is not. The unholy storm wrecked the ship that brought the dying king to Avalon. And the raging tempest, something was waiting for the ship. And then the darkness took Arthur is beyond the Bridge of Sorrows, dwelling on the accursed land of midnight. Whatever you do, you need more than a blade to break my curse.
take them. Oh! The battle is over, and you must make a choice, Mordred. This is merely the first in a chain of similar decisions that will eventually determine what kind of leader you will be. Tell me, what will happen to Camelot? Nearby Kingstone is plundered by a marauder knight. Kingstone. I think we are too late. I don't see any survivors. It isn't good, Sir Balin. Come on, then, fellows. Let's play. Yes, the righteous fool trying to save the village on his own.
Sir Mordred. The rumors are true then. You have returned. I'm only following my knightly oath by protecting the innocent. The nearby village is plagued by these brigands, and I must stop them. So you are truly taking King Arthur's place in Camelot, recruiting knight. You should find my brother. He would be a great fit to your dark court. You are not the only one looking for him. Something terrible happens to Avalon, and people need guidance. The ship that brought him to Avalon reached shore beyond the Bridge of Sorrows. I would start looking for him there, in the Whispering Cove. That's what my father told me and my brother, anyway. Our goals are the same. I'll accompany you. Killed and maimed, the other half hiding in the woods. We must stop this. Gather all you can. The dead won't need anything, will they? These brigands are not even worthy to stand trial. We shall kill them all. Still a good old Balan. Protector of the weak. Spare me the cynicism. You are here for the same reason as I am to save these people. Yes, I need them to work the field, see? You are a disgrace to everything the Round Table stood for. Maybe this land needs my Round Table to survive. For king and country. Your Highness? I can take them all. I am here to serve.
Ah, Sir Mordred. You really don't have to thank me. I'm Lady Dindrain, the Lord's Chosen, Seeker of the Holy Grail. Aren't you helpful? I wish I had thought of that earlier. No, I'm looking for redemption in this hellhole, Tread Knight. No, sir. I'm hunting down their leader. The Marauder Knight hiding in a ruined tower. The good lord sent you then. I'm always glad to have some walking shields around me. Let's go. Who is going to need this? to pray, sinners. Look at you, Mordred. In the old days, you raised the towers of mad wizards and crushed the champions of the she. And now you are trying to save some dirt poor villagers. How profoundly annoying it shall be for you. Rise and shine, noble knights. This is where the Lord of the Vermin is hiding. Let's cleanse this hovel once and for all.
It seems I was wrong about you, Mordred. I shall give you an advice then. Camelot is in danger. Not from these marauders, but the creatures of darkness beyond the Bridge of Sorrow. My brother Balin is standing guard in the bridge fort, holding back the tides at midnight. There has been bad blood between us. He is cruel and arrogant, a savage in battle. But even Balin will fall if you don't help him out. I have fulfilled my oath. If you decide to march to the bridge now, I will meet you... Treasure this time. <laughs> 